In today's video we take a look at the Manfrotto B3 Life Travel Tripod. I'm doing quite a lot of video work in my spare time and because we are going to travel a little bit more this year I was looking for a nice video tripod and I found this one, the Manfrotto B3 Life. Before we start the review let's take a look at the product details first. The tripod is mostly made out of aluminum. It has leather locks and a safety payload of 4 kg. The minimum height is 40 cm and the maximum height is 151 cm. The closed length is 40 cm and it has a fluid cartridge with a fixed drag. The complete weight of the tripod is 1750 g. This tripod is also available in carbon fiber which is a little bit lighter and it's also available with twist locks. Because I don't really like the twist locks because they are a little bit fiddly in my opinion I choose the one with leather locks. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the tripod. The tripod comes in this nice carry bag, which also has a shoulder strap. And when we take it out, hold on, you can see when the uh, tripod is folded up, it is quite compact and has a length of only 40 centimeters. The minimum height of the tripod is also 40 centimeters. But if you need to get lower to the ground, you can remove the center column and turn it upside down. This way you can get really close to the ground. Here on the side of the legs are the lever locks. With this system it is really easy to quickly set up the tripod. As I mentioned before, the tripod is also available with twist locks, if you prefer them. Fully extended and with the center column all the way up, the tripod has a maximum height of 151 centimeters and has a maximum payload of 4 kilograms. As you can see, the camera on the tripod has the not so small Panasonic 100 to 300 zoom lens attached. Here on the side, you have the possibility to attach some accessories, like another tripod arm, for example. With the locks here on the side, you can adjust the legs into different positions to get some different angles and even some more stability. You can even put them in a completely horizontal position. These locks are also used to fold the tripod up again. Just push the legs back and then the locks down. This way you can fold the legs up completely. Now let's get to the most important part of the tripod. The two-way fluid video head. This video head guarantees extremely smooth movement on the pan and tilt axis. Unfortunately, the drag is not adjustable, which means it is either locked or fluid. Either way, you have to try and keep a consistent speed, which might take a little bit of practice. If you want, you can also use a rubber band or a hair tie when panning the camera. In my opinion, that makes panning the camera a little bit easier. You can lock or unlock the axis separately with these two screws. It also comes with a nice big slide plate for camera balancing. If you balance the camera correctly, it will stay in place and won't tip over like you just saw, no matter in which direction the camera is pointing. The plate is also very useful for a quick and easy setup. Another smaller but really nice feature is the bubble level next to the fluid head. If you are on a little bit uneven ground, you can just use the bubble level to adjust the camera instead of adjusting the legs of the tripod till you find the correct position. Together with the head, the tripod has a weight of 1750 gram and is mostly made out of aluminum. However, there are some rubber and plastic parts. For example, here at the handle or at the legs of the tripod are the rubber parts and the knobs here at the side of the head and at the side of the plate and also the lever locks are made out of plastic. Overall, this tripod has a really good build quality and even though it is a lightweight, it is really stable. You have to keep in mind that this tripod was uh, specifically designed for travel. So of course there are some downsides like the before mentioned uh, stability. If you want, you can attach your backpack to, uh, to make it a little bit more stable. There's this little knobby on the side. I've tried it a few times and if the, tripod is, uh, if the uh, backpack is not too heavy, it actually works uh, quite well. So overall, like I mentioned before, this tripod is a really good choice for people who travel a lot or go hiking on a regular basis. Thanks to the fluid head, it is also perfect for hybrid shooters. You can not only take photos, 
but you can also get really smooth video footage. It is very light and compact, which makes it easy to bring the tripod along. It can easily be attached to the side of, the, of your backpack, for example. For a lightweight travel tripod, it is also quite stable, as I mentioned before. It also has a very good height, but if you need a tripod for other stuff, like shooting um, weddings, for example, or other occasions where you need to shoot, shoot uh, overhead of people, you maybe should uh, take a look at another tripod that is not specifically designed for uh, traveling. Okay, I guess that's it for now. So let me know in the comments below what you think about the uh, Manfrotto B3 Live. And maybe you still have some questions I can answer. And as always, if you enjoyed the video and thought it was helpful, please leave a like or a comment. And if you want to see more of our videos, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys the next time.